Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can get in live natural gas and crude oil word curves into your Excel sheet without using a Bloomberg terminal. And you know this is not using the linked data type in Excel um, because with linked data, data type you can't get the entire forward curve. This is a way to get the entire forward curve live in Excel without Bloomberg. So things first to note is that these links are going to be in the description. So basically there's a website called investing.com that I have found that as of right now it works really really well for getting in these prices into Excel in a quick and easy manner. What you're going to want to do is so you're going to want to click general and then you're going to want to click contracts once you get to the website. And then after you do that as you can see here we have the entire we have a crude, the WTI crude oil forward curve right here going all the way out until February 32. And then here is the natural gas forward curve. And then kind of the same thing we can go to, you can go to general contracts. And here is the natural gas forward curve. And to get the data in Excel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the link, copy it. And now that I'm back in Excel, I'm going to go to data. And this is the newest version of Excel, um, 2019, but, but you should be an option to allow you to import from web. This will be a little bit different if you're using a Excel 2016 version and might not be as clean for Excel 2016. Um, just, so, so just be aware of that. Um, but this with the newer versions of Excel, this should be work. This should work well. So right here is a little icon that says from web to, to input data from web. Click on that. Then I'm going to have basic, basic selected. And then I'm going to paste in the link that I put in there. And then click OK. And then what it does is it just basically goes through and it finds tables, which is why formatting for importing data from the web is important because whenever you are importing data from the web, Excel is just going through and looking for tables of data. And if it's not formatted as a nice, clean, pretty table, then it's not going to work out well. And for example, it doesn't, so you see, go on a web page, a lot of times things that might look like a table will actually be a, a JPEG image or it might be a merged cell or something. Um, so I'm just going to give this a second to load. So now you can see it pulled in the different tables and you're going to select like the table that has data that we need. So as you can see, um, it just went through and scanned for tables of data. And the one that I have found to be the most useful is table number one right here. So as you can see, um, this is the, the forward curve that you're looking for, and we're going to click transform data. And the reason why we're going to click transform data is because as you can see, right here, these is kind of there's these little pesky for the last prices, there's these little pesky S's. For whatever reason, some very random S's near some of the numbers, and we're going to split the columns to remove the S's. So transform data. And this is going to open up the power query. Now, now we are in Power Query. So we're going to click the table, the column with the last price. Um, as the last has these little weird S's here. Then under the home tab, we're going to, towards the middle, click, click split columns. And then after we click split columns, we are going to click by delimiter. Now, the reason why we're clicking by delimiter is because we want to split not by a specific position per se in this situation, but we want to split the column very specifically by the letter S. And by splitting this column, we're going to have one column with just numbers, another column with just the random letter S's, they're going to, then we're going to remove the S's. So we're going to click by delimiter, and then give this a second to load. And then we are not going to, so the, so it defaults to giving you some different options as to what, um, as to what people might normally split by. So people might want to split by a space or a tab or equal sign or something. For this situation, we're going to have it as, as, as column, as custom. 
And then we're going to just want to type in the letter S. And then split at each occurrence of the of the delimiter. So this is useful for if it's a situation where it occurs multiple times. So for example, if you had like dot blah 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 dot, you want to split the left most uh, this, this most dot that's recurring, the left most might be better, for example. Um, and then for quote character, we're going to click none, as there are no quotes. And then we're going to click OK. And as you can see right here, we have the numbers and we have the column that had the S's. Now we're going to right click at the top, head right here, then just click remove. And then I'm going to do click load and close. Very close and load. Takes a second for it to load. Now here you can see we have the live prices, the live forward curve for the VTI right here. And then I'm going to do um, alt h i art into a row. And then just type WTI right here just to remember. And was in no as a note you have to refresh this data if you want to get the most recent prices it doesn't automatically tick um, at the moment so to do that you go to so to do that you're going to want to make sure that you are clicked inside of the table with the data in it then you're going to want to to click re refresh all to refresh the data or you can have actually turn on the settings where it will refresh at different time intervals so refresh all so you can click refresh all that arrow um, connection properties and then you can say there's this little box right here under usage that says refresh every 60 minutes or 55 minutes or you can type in however every however number of minutes that you'd want it to. So I just say you want it to refresh every two hours. You can have it automatically refresh. This can slow down your Excel sheet, especially if you have a lot of data. But now, if you have to click OK, the data will automatically refresh every two hours, even if I don't click the Refresh All button. And as a note, it is the kind of same process to get in Brent and natural gas. So I'm going to do that real quick. So make sure I have the the um table by the way if you have not subscribed yet please do so and thank you so much for watching um and i really appreciate all the support especially if you have watched to this point so grabbing the link link for brenton now i'm back in the table go not doing to data from web Come and paste the link. Give it a second to establish the connection. Oh, by the way, um, one thing that we didn't see when doing this, so whenever I did this, it automatically just put in the data. Um, once, sometimes it gives you a option that says, where do you want to pull the data from? You're going to want to click that drop down link and go click to the very bottom and to the longest URL. And that's the URL that's close to a page that you're actually on. That was needed in this situation though. So transform data. Then you're going to want to click that. And you're going to want to split the column by delimiter. The delimiter being custom s for every occurrence and it's not a quote so no quote character once you click the column with s's and remove the column then you're going to want to close and load and it defaults to have putting it on a separate sheet i like them all on the same sheet so i'm going to highlight it control x and then go over to report table one and then Control V and then call this print and then go in here as well and then go to the data tab. That arrow, re connection properties, refresh every call it two hours. And then now to get the natural gas forward, cur forward curve in there, 
So, and now to get the natural gas forward curve in there, control C for the link. And uh, to just reiterate, all these links are going to be in the description. And then I'm going to go to the data tab from web. And then control V under, under basic for the URL. Give it a second for it to load. Should be a little bit faster because I've connected this website a couple times already. Uh, but just give it a few more seconds to load. Here we go. Table one, transform data. Give this a second to load. Click last. Preview maybe up to 309 days old. What? Refresh. So going, now I'm going to split the column by delimiter. In custom, I'm going to have it as S, and then it's not a quote, it's a no quote character. Okay. And I'm going to remove this column and then close and load. It's going to put it in a separate sheet. It gives it a second to load. And then control X after you copied it. Then control V. And we have an ERAF Louisiana natural gas. And last but not least, I'm going to delete real quickly these three. Yes, we delete it. Okay. Now here we have it. We have the WTI forward curve, the Brent forward curve, and the natural gas forward curve. And after I go to so data, refresh all convection properties. Refresh every 120, 120 minutes. Okay. Now we have the Henry Hub natural gas forward curve, the Brent forward curve, and the WTI forward curves all in Excel that will automatically refresh every two hours. Or you can go to data and then refresh all, and the that will refresh your prices. So with that being said, I really hope that you all found this tutorial to be helpful. Um, and and like I said, this isn't necessarily perfect per se, but it's a great way to get some live prices and to get the entire forward curve. As you can see, the WTI goes out to February of 32. Brent goes out to March of 29. And Henry Hub goes out to December 33. It's a great way to get the entire forward curve, um, put some key indexes in there, and prices that are live. So that will just automatically update for you. And yes, the links in the description. So if you found this to be useful or helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know if you have any suggestions. Always looking for new video suggestions. And check out the links in the description for some free stock. It helps us. It helps us both both out because you both get free stock. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.